first of all, I want to express my gratitude um, for what has been said about me and for what we have done, what, I, what we did as under my presidency and under the UPA government. It also uh, shows how old I have become and uh, how now young people under the leadership of Kargeji must move forward. I would like to renew my congratulations to Malik Arjun Kargeji and offer my best wishes for his presidency. Kargeji has held organizational and political posts from the bloc to the national level. His grounded wisdom and deep experience is a crucial asset for the Congress, especially in these challenging times. His journey from a dedicated grassroots worker to the highest post in the Congress is a matter of pride for all of us. It reflects the ideals of India for which our freedom struggle was fought and the values of our Constitution. It continues our rich and unparalleled tradition of internal democracy. I had the honor of taking office as president for the first time in 1998. Over these 25 years, our party has seen times of high achievement as well as deep disappointment. The support, goodwill, and understanding of each one of you and all the Congress Party workers throughout the country has given us all strength. Our victories in 2004 and 2009, along with the able leadership of Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, gave me personal satisfaction. But what gratifies me most is that my innings could conclude with the Bharat Joro Yatra. The Yatra has come as a turning point. It has proved that the people of India overwhelmingly want harmony, tolerance, and equality. It has renewed the rich legacy of dialogue between our party and the people through mass contact programs. It has shown us all that the Congress stands with the people and is ready to fight for them. I congratulate all party workers who have worked hard for the Yatra, the colleagues, young and old, who took part in it, and the lacks of people of India for their participation, support, and affection. I especially thank Rahulji, whose determination and leadership were crucial in the Yatra's success. Friends, this is a particularly challenging time for the Congress and for the country as a whole. Prime Minister Modi and the BJP RSS regime 
has relentlessly captured and subverted every single institution. It ruthlessly silenced any voice of opposition. It has caused economic ruin by favoring a few chosen businessmen at the expense of all others and of the people, of ordinary people. And most distressingly, it fuels the fires of fear and hatred against fellow Indians. It viciously targeted minorities and ignored crimes and discrimination against them, against women, against Dalits, and against Adivasis. It mocked Gandhiji, and through its words and actions, shows its contempt for the values of our Constitution. In many ways, the situation today reminds me of the time when I first entered politics. Then, as now, we faced a difficult struggle ahead. And at this crucial time, each one of us bears a special responsibility towards our party and towards our country. The Congress is not just a political party. We are the vehicle through which the people of India fight for liberty, equality, fraternity, and justice for all. We reflect the voices of people of all states, religions, languages, castes, and genders. We work to uphold the dignity and fulfill the dreams of each and every Indian. So the path ahead is not easy, but my experience, as well as the rich history of the Congress, tells me that victory will be ours. To achieve it, to achieve it under Kargeji's leadership, we must tackle the regime with boldness and vigor and stand side by side with the people it attacks. We must reach out to people and convey our message <clears throat> with clarity and cohesion. <clears throat> we must work with discipline and timelessness to respond quickly in this fast paced age. Above all, we must be ready to put aside our personal expectation, make sacrifices, and work with unity and a sense of common purpose. Today, let us all remind ourselves of the battles our party has won in the past and prepare ourselves for the battle to come. Let us remember that victory for the party is victory for the country and for each and every one of us. Thank you. Jai Hind.